series then well it's the company's first ever rear wheel drive production vehicle and when i actually say ever i mean it's about 80 years since audi claims that this model is built for the purists that it's actually a driver's car which is saying something because the standard version is not exactly a dull driving machine the engine is a familiar glorious 5.2 liter normally aspirated v10 but in rear wheel series form it's making 532 horsepower and 398 foot pounds of torque with the deletion of front drive shafts for the two-wheel drive model, in coupe form this weighs 50 kilograms lighter than the standard R8, and in stunning spider version you save 40 kilograms too. You also gain 11 horsepower per tonne more thanks to those weight savings, and there's also revised suspension and steering to match its driving character. 999 of these will be made, and they start at £112,000 for the coupe model, and a little bit more for the spider. Anyway, enough talking, let's go out for some driving. Hasn't got the 610 horsepower V10 Plus engine in it. Doesn't need it if I'm honest. Oh, sounds great, doesn't it? Probably sounds great. But it doesn't need it. It makes 532 horsepower. But because of the deletion of the four-wheel drive, the front fact that it hasn't got uh, front drive shafts and um, it's 50 kilos lighter and um, they're only making 999 of these and um, you can start ordering them in March and I'm pretty sure that all of them will be sold out in no time because this is one special car I'm a huge fan of the V10 plus in general I think it's just the car that does everything if there's the one supercar you want to use to drive every day it would be the Audi R8 V10 Plus. It's just, this is proper, it's so easy. And the chassis is so well suited to all driving conditions. You can be a racing driver, it's still a playful, balanced car. Um, you might not be a racing driver, it can still make you look like a complete hero. And yeah, this RWS is for ones who want a bit more keen driving. And I'll tell you what, you definitely do with this car. a brief go in the spider and on the road it makes you feel a lot more special thanks to that high definition v10 soundtrack and in my opinion those drop dead gorgeous looks 
It also rides better thanks to those thicker sidewall smaller rims, but then it could be the smooth Spanish roads masking that. Then later on I got to ride shotgun in the R8 LMS GT4 car which was a huge thrill and then eventually they let me loose in the RWS on what appears to be a huge car park with some cones. So then I just did a load of skids. Right, so I haven't got much time with the Audi R8. enough time to tell you what the balance is actually like okay we're in an overall circuit it doesn't really tell me much about what's going on but the balance is there you know it's just there the steering yes it doesn't have that variable ratio dynamic steering jockey but you know what I'm so glad it doesn't so things that I need to tell you about the car tires on the back so the grip isn't as tremendous the grip isn't as tremendous as what I had before but do you know what this car just works it's just perfect about the R8 well steering's fantastic everything about the car is just yeah proper proper we haven't got much time with this sorry about it but hopefully in the UK we'll get our chances with the car but yeah yeah I love it that was just yeah, that was me just being a complete yob as usual and going sideways literally everywhere, which is never boring. But to conclude on the R8 RWS or rear wheel series, well, it's definitely the pick of the bunch if you want the most engaging and playful chassis. I'm glad that Audi are only making a limited number of these because not only will it be a future classic, but it won't dilute itself into the all capable four wheel drive model, which let's face it, is still going to be the one to choose, especially from the market it brings itself into. But for drivers and idiots like me, the RWS is definitely the R8 that will make you smile for longer, especially for doing big skids. Audi have recently changed their Quattro GmbH brand to Audi Sport, and I have a feeling that the next generation of RS models will have a certain edge and playfulness to its chassis. And if it does, Audi will run the marketplace. But for the meantime, this rear wheel series is a great start, and it definitely makes me a fan. Ha ha ha!